Okay, so last uh, part of creating Adobe Spark videos is going to involve the theme and then the ability to resize if necessary. So your theme uh, is gonna be more of the transitions or the colors um, and those kinds of things. So you can kind of hold your cursor over each one of these. Elevate is the default. You can change the colors uh, to just be sort of uh, those pale colors and then black with the color um, in front or white with the color in front. And then if you hold your cursor over, you'll be able to see um, what those, what the transitions are gonna look like, what the colors are gonna look like. Uh, and you can kind of see them in an example. Flare is gonna give you sort of that, um, the same type of thing you can see in the page or the graphic where it changes the color uh, that, that old school template. Statement is pretty bold, the words kind of pop. Uh, noir is going to be your newish looking, um, a little bit slower. Sideways transitions, um, that one's going to be big and the words bounce in this one. So if you don't like bouncy words, don't choose that. Sage and Grace are both pretty um, subtle. Those would be good for uh, like wedding videos, things like that. So um, that's the the the, uh, the template there, the theme. And if you choose it, you'll just notice that uh, it'll take a second and then it will change those transitions. You can also change the uh, primary color that you want it to be focusing on. And so those, those are pretty nice little ways to make your theme, make your video look a little different every time. And then resizing is good for social media. Obviously widescreen is gonna be your best way to show it if you're looking for things online. But for social media, you can turn your video into a square and that will just simply change uh, the, way your, uh, the way your video works. And again, it does allow you to move the video around so you can choose a different focal point. Uh, once it loads for the small one, because obviously these videos were recorded not in square. Uh, and so if I can click on that, let's see if it allows me to, may not, it may just be right in the middle. But anyway, uh, so again, the video is now square. This just makes it a little bit easier, uh, easier to share these on things like Facebook and Twitter and whatnot. Uh, all right, so let's say we're done with our video. We've put it all together. We've got all of our text down here and again I can delete these boxes if I don't want these anymore um, just simply by clicking on them and clicking on the three dots and saying delete uh, and you can duplicate those as well but again that would clean that out you cannot get rid of the uh, outro which is the way for spark to say we made this video uh, and if you want to get rid of the outro you are going to have to um, upgrade now the sharing is a little bit different because you can give it a name, you do have to pick a category. We'll put education, you do a subtitle and all that. Again, you can do the option of putting your name on it or um, whether or not Adobe is going to focus on it or share it with others. But just like the website, you will be able to create a link to this video. So it takes a second and it'll, uh, it'll create that link for you. Okay, so we got our link, and you'll notice this is very similar to uh, the link that we got for our Spark page, uh, which we could share out, copy and page, share to Classroom, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Um, so that is one way to do it. When you do open that up, if you send that link to folks, um, it will look like basically just a shell of a website with your video in the middle of it, and they can play it here. They can also tweet it out, share it, embed it. They can't download it. Uh, you are the only one who has the ability to download, which is right here just like the, um, the post options when you're creating graphics you can download or share right next to each other and that's pretty much it again it's all up to your creativity uh, the videos that you take are going to determine the quality of the video that you put together so remember that um, you know we want you want good uh, interesting videos and make them fun uh, put some cool music behind it some graphics and, uh, and Adobe Spark can do that for you so I hope you enjoyed this video um, and make some cool ones here on Adobe and, uh, and we'll see you out there in, uh, in the video world. Talk to you soon.